Hello students, continuing with basic constructions of chapter 11, let's take a look at how to construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. So I have this line segment AB. So if this is your line segment AB, you need to draw a perpendicular bisector PQ such that and these P, PQ and AB should intersect let's say at point O such that AO is equal to BO and each of this angle out here is 90 degrees that is angle POA is equal to angle POB is equal to BOQ is equal to angle AOQ which is 90 degrees so angle is equal to 90 degrees that's why it's perpendicular bisector right what does perpendicular bisector mean that the point of intersection of these two line segments should be perpendicular and also one line should bisect the other line the bisecting line should bisect the given line segment AB. So how will we do, do this? Very simple. You have your given line segment AB out here. You are going to take a length. So you are going to use your own judgment now. You have to take a length more than half the radius of AB. More than half the length of AB. Right? So as you can see, this length is looking more than half of the line segment AB. The length of AB. And with A as the center, you are going to cut an arc here on one side. And with A as the center, you are going to cut an arc on the other side. Once done, you are going to come to point B. Same length, you are not changing the length. You are going to cut an arc here and cut an arc here. You will notice that both these arc will intersect each other. Let's call, let's call the point of intersection of these arcs as P and Q. Which are these points? this point out here and this point out here. Now you will join PQ. So PQ is, is bisecting AB. I will call this as the point of intersection of PQ and AB as O. And if you measure, if you measure AO and OB, this length with this length, you will notice that each of the length is equal and each of these angles here is 90 degrees. All these angles here are 90 degrees. So let us go ahead and write the construction and we will also write the proof to show that PQ is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So the steps. Draw a line segment AB. Then second step, taking more than, more than half the length of AB draw arcs on either side of AB using A and B as centers. Right? Mark the point of intersections of arcs, the point of intersection of arcs as P and Q. Third point, join PQ. Let PQ intersect AB at point O. Therefore, PQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So now we need to prove what that AO is equal to BO and also you need to prove that each of these angles is 90 degrees. So I will start with my proof here itself and then we will continue to the other side of the board. So first in order to do the proof you are going to join AP, BP, AQ and BQ. So let's do this.
why did I join these lines first of all? What I'm going to do is I'm going to prove that PAQ is congruent to PBQ. These two triangles are congruent to each other. So how am I going to prove them congruent? This side is equal to this side because it's the arc of the same length. This side is equal to this side, arc of the same length. And this is the common side, right? PQ is the common side. Therefore, the two triangles PAQ and PBQ are congruent to each other by the side 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 test of congruence. Now, since the two triangles are congruent to each other, I can say that this angle out here is equal to this angle. That is P, P, uh, AP, o, APQ is equal to BQ. That means APO is equal to BPO, right? Through corresponding pair of congruent triangles. Now I'm going to prove this, these two triangles congruent. Which are the two triangles? APO and BPO. How? Just like we said that these are equal the first time because they are arcs of the same length. This angle we proved congruent and this is the common side. Therefore the two triangles are congruent to each other by the side angle side test of congruence. Therefore through corresponding pair of congruent triangles I can say that AO is equal to BO. That means AB is getting bisected by PQ at the point O. And I can say that angle POA is equal to angle POB through corresponding pair of congruent triangles. But POA plus POB is 180 degrees through linear pair axiom. Therefore, because they both are equal and they form a linear pair, each angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, each angle is 90 degrees. Hence, we can sh uh, say that PQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So, let's go ahead and write the proof. So, proof first taking your triangles PAQ and PBQ. In triangle PAQ and triangle PBQ, I have PA is equal to PB and QA is equal to QB because they are arcs of same length. So I'm erasing this section now. We don't really need it. Then you have PQ as the common side. Therefore, triangle PAQ is equal is congruent to triangle PBQ by the side 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 test of congruence right therefore i will say that angle apq is equal to angle bpq through corresponding pair of congruent triangles right moving on we continue here so therefore angle apo is equal to angle bpo through this. Let's mark this as 1. Right? Now we are going to take the two upper triangles. You can take these two triangles also. You can take these two triangles also. Or these two triangles also. That's no problem. So I'll say in triangle APO and triangle BPO, I have AP is equal to BP. Arcs of same length. Then I have angle APO is equal to angle BPO from 1 and I have PO is equal to PO because it's the common side. Right? Therefore, triangle APO is congruent to triangle BPO by the side angle side test of congruence right therefore AO is equal to BO and angle AOP is equal to angle BOP both are through corresponding pair of congruent triangles so this proves that AB is getting bisected at O by the lines uh, by the bisector PQ. Now AOP and BOP 
angle A. So let's mark this statement as two. Now angle AOP plus angle BOP, <coughs> excuse me, is equal to 180 degrees. Let's mark this as three. So from two and three, what do you get? That twice angle AOP is equal to 180 degrees from 2 and 3. Therefore, angle AOP is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle BOP is equal to 90 degrees. So, each of these angles is 90 degrees here. That means PQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So, it is not only bisecting the line segment AB but also is perpendicular to the line segment AB. So, this was about the construction, the proof and the steps. Please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.